welcome back to my channel or if new here welcome on today's video we're gonna go over all the collections the light slacker has released this year honestly i am a huge light slacker fan but this year they totally knocked it out of the park i loved every single collection and it was very very difficult to do a like favorites list so i decided to instead go over every single collection talk about the standout shade for each of them and then mention some honorable mentions at the end so if you're interested in just having a little recap or yeah throwback to this year keep on watching a really quick disclaimer before we get started with every collection i'm going to mention that smaller collections which are the quads and trios and those tend to be limited edition so even though I'm going to be linking everything in the description box there might not be those in stock so I'm not gonna have them on my description box but the other ones which are like the seasonal collections they're all permanent and I'm not sure what shades are sold out because they've been having so many sales but just so you have an idea that you might not find everything on the website right now but yeah let's just get started <laughs> start of the year they release their anniversary collection it is the y3k and if you have been around since the very beginning of light slacker they always celebrate their anniversary on january kind of combined with kathleen's birthday because their actual anniversary is in november which is in the peak of the holidays so they decide to make january kind of like its own special month for the brand and i really like that they do that because you know you get to enjoy it a little bit more instead of like having it cramped with between the holidays and the sales and black friday and like everything so y3k was a trio collection and my favorite shade from this trio was a birthday brad i think it was so stunning i love those like rich shades i'm not a fan of the sheer ones so you're going to see that pattern whenever i pick my favorite for each collection but i feel like overall this collection was very very pretty it was different and i feel like it kind of gave like a good taste of the route that they were gonna take for the year which was very like trendy and like new and very creative i don't know I, I just feel like they killed it this year i don't know how many times i can say i just really enjoyed every collection so now moving on from y3k we have the cuts diner collection sorry i'm looking at my notes over here because there's just too many to keep track of and cuts diner was the first full collection of the year it was the spring release and oh my god i love this collection so much i feel like all the colors together were super stunning the formula of everything was of course like amazing and it was very difficult to pick my favorite from this one but i just had to go with my gut and that is going to be jukebox baby it is the purple of the collection and I am a purple lover. I am indeed wearing purple now in my eyes, my shirt, and I have my purple water bottle. And if you're a purple lover, you know that you just carry purple with you everywhere. And this one is just the perfect shade of like pastel, like little lavender. I don't know the correct terminology of all the shades, by the way. So don't take those like by heart because I might be butchering them. The purple one is just so, so pretty. And I don't want to pick like my second favorites or anything like that because there's a lot of collections to get through. I actually, when I was doing the list, I noticed that they released a new collection every single month. So wow, like shout out to them for coming up with so many great ideas. And I wonder how far in advance they came up with each collection because obviously by the time they release it, they had already been working on that one for such a long time. So I wonder what the timeline of that will be. That would be very cool to find out. The next collection was a quad and it is called Dream A Little Dream. This collection had such pretty branding and I I actually had it like up on my wall but I ended up falling because Miami Heat. But it was just so like delicate and beautiful and detailed and I don't know, it was just, just very, very, very pretty. My favorite shade from this one is called I'll Be Seeing You. It is more of a topper but it is just so pretty. It gives like the best little um, like shimmer or like shiftiness when you're out in the sun. I really liked it. It also transforms every shade into like a more elegant look in my opinion. So yeah, I just really like this collection. The next collection that they released was actually a collaboration with Polly Pocket. When they came up with this collection, I was shook. I was so super, super, super excited because if you watch Kathleen or you've been following her for some time, she's 
a huge fan of anything that is like nostalgic to her childhood and she has mentioned Polly Pockets a lot in her videos before so I was just super ecstatic for her it kind of reminded me the same feeling I had when she had a collaboration with friends which is another thing that she had mentioned so many times it just made me feel like very proud as a like follower and just lover of light slacker it was just a very surreal moment for me as well um out of this collection, my favorite shade was Tiny is Mighty, and I promise you, I'm not just going to pick the purple of every collection. I actually try very hard not to, but this one is just so pretty. I love the finish that they created for this like special shades. So Tiny is Mighty and the green one that you're gonna see right there have the same finish, and they're just so pretty. Like I would love to wear any polish with that same finish because I just like it. I love it. It adds something to it. It's also a little bit more of a jelly finish to it, and I'm not a fan of jellies, but somehow these two are just such like a dream to work with, and yeah, I just really liked it. Moving on to the summer collection, they had a full collection called Bienvenidos. It was inspired by, I was going to say Miami, but it was not. It was just a lot of like Miami vibes to it because we live like in a tropical place. And my favorite shade was Tranquila Tropical, which is the green one, but I love this collection, this concept, the branding, everything so much. All the shades went so well with each other. And I just really, really like that it reminded me of like the Miami collection when they did that for Kale Polish. If you were here for those days, it was not like similar shades or anything by any means, but it just gave me that same vibe of like home because I live in Miami. So it just gave like major Miami vibes to me. After the summer collection, they release a quad and you're going to see that in between every permanent like seasonal collection, they release a quad or a trio. They did more quads this year than last year. I think last year they did mostly trios and I wonder if it's because they just couldn't decide on which shade to get rid of and just keep it on three. I really love this collection. It is called Beyond the Sea. It was a quad like I mentioned and my favorite shade was Our Mermaids Not Sweet. It was one of the color shades that I have. I didn't want to do a top 10 because I couldn't decide. So it was the nice thing to just pick one shade from each collection. But this one would definitely make it in my top five. It was just super dreamy, very mermaid-like. And I loved anything that gives mermaid vibes. It's kind of like my go-to shades for my nails, to be honest. The next release wasn't actually a full collection or a quad or anything like that. They just added on two shades from the Kale Polish days onto Light Slacker. I am very happy with this addition, but I didn't want to actually pick a favorite between these two since there are literally only two shades that were already existing. But I wanted to mention that I really do love these two. I'm very happy that they're back and I wanted to get your opinion. Which other shade from the Kale Polish days, if you were part of those, would you like to bring back onto Light Slacker? Because I feel like they're due for some new shades from there. I know they're working a lot of new stuff, but I think it'll be cool if every so often, instead of releasing a quad or a trio, they could just bring back like two shades from there. What do you think? Now, continuing with the regular collections, they release a part three to the Your Nails But Better collection. This time, they were all sheer polishes. And I know I mentioned at the beginning that I'm not a fan of sheer polishes, but for some reason, this entire collection was just so beautiful. I was also newly engaged, and I felt like my nails with my engagement ring just looked so good with every shade. But my favorite one was Mrs. Wheeler. I really, really like how that looked on my skin tone. Moving on to the next collection, they released a quad, and it is called Book of Hexes. I feel like this was the most loved quad out of every other mini collection that released this year. Starting with their pure packaging, it was stunning. I have it right here, let me actually show it to you in case you need a reminder, but it was this beautiful book that they came up with. It's just stunning, like I don't understand how they come up with the coolest ideas. It was giving like hocus pocus and we were all a little bit confused because we thought this was going to be like a Halloween collection, but then they released a part two to this. I mean, not really part two, but it felt like it because it was kind of the same thing. But before I moved on to that one, of course I wanted to give a shout out to that PR package, but I also wanted to mention my favorite shade, which was True Blood. I cannot believe that's my favorite shade because I am not like a red polish person. I don't even like to wear red. I know I dye my hair red, but I actually don't like red that much. But that shade just spoke to me. They were so beautiful. And this collection was actually the first time they released magnetic polishes. 
it was a little hard for me to work with them just because I am so bad when it comes to magnetic polishes, like nail art, but I'm making it my goal for next year to just focus on getting better on that because I feel like I will have so much fun creating nail art. And, and now that they have these magnetic shades, it will be so cool to play with them. So the next collection was Villain Era. This was released for the fall. And as I mentioned, it was kind of like a part two to the Book of Hexes. It gave the same vibe. And for this collection, they had a glow in the dark polish. That was the first time they had that in their collections or like just catalog of polishes. And that was very exciting for a lot of people. I personally do not use that that often just because I like my regular like vibrant polishes on their own. I am a very lazy person. I do not use toppers, but a lot of people had amazing like looks and they just got very creative for Halloween and I love seeing that online. Now my favorite shade from this collection was definitely very hard to pick because I like most of them like a ton but I ultimately decided that the shade will be sorry not sorry and I just love this polish so much because of the shiftiness to it it looks so cool under my studio light outside I just love staring at it my fiance also liked it a lot so that gives it bonus points and it was like a mix of a grayish with like purple tones but like like a goldish greenish like shift i don't know it was a very very cool polish and i loved it so much this collection was a quad it is called bibliotech i'm not pretty sure if that's how you pronounce it but i really enjoyed this collection i love that it was like book inspired and i love reading so that was very very big for me my favorite shade was dark academia but i i think on my original video i said something else because that was like my first impression i hadn't like worn it that often you know I had just received it but now it is dark academia and sorry we're almost at the end we finally approached the winter collection which was a cabin fever I love this collection so so much I don't want to spoil like my rankings just yet actually I don't think I'm going to do rankings so I guess I'll just say it now this was my favorite collection of the year I just love every single polish in that collection I will wear all of them I feel like usually with a collection, there's like a shade that I wouldn't really wear or two that are not really like my vibe. But for this one, I love every polish. Like if there's a collection that I would recommend for you to get the full collection of, it would be this one because I just loved it so much, especially Barely Frio and uh, Smell Snow. That little finish that they have, it reminded me a lot of the Polly Pocket ones. And it's just my favorite. I really, really loved it. My top favorite from that collection is I Smell Snow. It is such a beautiful green. I love the finish, like I already mentioned. And I think it just looks amazing for like literally any season. I really, really liked it. I like the concept a lot too. I feel like it was very creative, different. And yeah, I can't say enough good things about this collection. I really liked it. But don't worry, we have one more. We have finally approached the last collection and this was a trio. I know I mentioned they really didn't have trios this year, but we started with one and we're ending the year with another one. This one was called Gimme the Night. It had a beautiful, beautiful shade called Super Freak. It is literally like my top in my top five. Like, no lie, I love the polish so much. This little collection is also perfect for New Year's, which of course it's almost here. I will definitely be wearing Super Freak. It is just the most stunning, like reflective, like shimmery shade. It's just everything and more. I just really, really love that polish. I don't know what else to say. It is amazing. The other shades, of course, are beautiful too, which of course I should have said this disclaimer at the beginning, but just because I'm mentioning one out of like all the other colors from each collection doesn't mean that I don't like any other ones. I love most of them. I really, really love them. They are all so beautiful and unique and it's just so hard with nail polish to create a different thing every time, you know? So it doesn't like, I, I don't know, compete with one another, but somehow Light Slacker did it. They created so many unique shades and I feel like it has for any style, any preference. And as somebody who doesn't like sheer polishes, they maybe like sheer polishes. As somebody who doesn't like red, I literally had red favorites. And it's just so cool. I am very, very happy with what they did this year. They also released um, nail tattoos and nail stickers. They also had ring collaborations with Seal. Um, what else did they have? They had charms. They had the magnetic polishes. They just created so many cool things this year. But I wanted to focus this video on only the nail polishes because if not, this video will be 
so long. I wanted to encourage you to leave me a comment telling me some of your favorites or you can tell me the polish, the collection, or as I asked earlier, what shades from Kale Polish you would like to bring into Light Slacker or just anything that you would like to share with me about Light Slacker. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I love creating nail content for each collection and I also like to share a little bit of myself through favorite videos, vlogs, and any other random thing that I might think of. So I wanted to take this time to thank anybody who watches my stuff. I also wanted to take a little bit of this time to thank Light Slacker, if you're watching, for giving me the opportunity to create so many videos and for sending me these collections ahead of time. I love getting a new collection and immediately like stopping everything that I'm doing to work on it because I just love the brand so much. I love Kathleen. I love everything that they have done. And what they did this year makes me so excited for what ideas they probably came up with for next year already. I cannot wait to see it. And if you decide to purchase any of these shades or anything on the website, I did want to mention that I am an affiliate. So I do have an affiliate code, which means you get a discount and I get a small percentage of that into my commission. So if you decide to use so, my code is SAM, it is S-A-M, and you get 10% off your purchase. So thank you so much if you decide to use it. Thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting me. And I can't believe this is the last Lights Locker video of the year. And I will see you next year with another one. Now, if you do watch my other stuff, don't you worry. I have other things coming. But I just wanted to say goodbye and I'll see you very soon. Bye.